long does it take a two metre by two metre ice block to melt? Well, that's the question the New Zealand Olympic Committee is asking Kiwis in the lead up to the Winter Olympic Games. Well, yes, as you can see, it's a very large block of ice. It's uh, two metres by two metres by two metres. And uh, our job was to promote the Beijing Games, which start on uh, next Friday, a week today, on the 4th. So um, our idea was to bring a piece of Beijing to Auckland. Yeah, it uh, looks like uh, a lot of ice um, and prizes, you know, um, frozen inside of them. So yeah, it's, uh, I won't give away how, how heavy it is because someone might be able to do the, the calculations. So people can choose a prize and then their job is to guess how long before that, that block of ice with the prize they want in it, how long before that melts. And the closest to the right time will win the prize. Yeah, I'm just pumped to see them compete. Um, it's going to be exciting. It starts on the 4th of February, so it's not long away. You know, obviously going to the games with no spectators is really, really weird and usually you have, you know, a lot of Kiwis over there and, and family supporting you, so, and yeah, definitely felt it over there, eh? Like, especially, you know, hearing all the stories from the cloud uh, after I competed and after other athletes competed, apparently it was just going off and everyone was um, pretty pumped on it. So, yeah, I think, you know, I think it's just going to be the same for, for the Winter Olympics because, you know, watching those guys is, um, is pretty fun, so, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Looking forward to it. I'm really hopeful with that with the great results from um, the X Games in Aspen on the weekend with um, Zoe and Nick and you know winning gold. Hopefully, people are ready to watch some uh, Winter Olympics because there, as you know, there are some fantastic events. There was like some buggy thing that I was pretty keen on. So, like the I, mini car. Yeah, little mini car. I don't know. That'd be pretty sweet, but. Yeah, there's some cool stuff in there, I and mean, I'm sure there will be. I'm sure people will, uh, word of mouth, it'll get around, and, and people that are passing through and people that are, are down on the viaduct they will, will pop down and check it out, because it is actually quite cool in person. It's, uh, it's a lot of ice, and you know, it was a lot of work to get it, to get it here, and a lot of time to, to freeze. I think they said there's like 34 blocks of ice, and each block took 10 hours to freeze or something. So, um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Uh, my guess it's probably going to melt, I reckon, 46 hours. I would say... Um 36 hours, it'll all be gone, midday Monday.